um, evening guys so today I'm sorry about the dogs um, that are biking in the background so today we're gonna talk about um, dojis dojis are candlesticks that uh, they have a meaning they are the most in for me they're the most important candlesticks in trading you understand um, with dojis I can say I'm gonna make a couple of examples with dojis um, it's like this it's like this it's like this I'm gonna draw a couple of um, examples so um, okay let me fix this first and make it straight These are different types of dojis, guys. Um, a doji is a candlestick that. <coughs> first of all, let me explain a candlestick. Um, let me do this first. This is a candlestick, right? I'm not gonna say it's bearish or bullish or whatever, but with a candlestick. A candlestick traces time it shows you if you're in the one minute time frame that means every candlestick takes one minute to complete if you're in the five minutes time frame that means every candlestick will take five minutes to complete you understand if you in the 15 minutes one hour it will take that time to complete you understand so what happens in in with candlesticks is right now let's say this is bullish this is green and it's going up if this is a bullish candlestick what it means is the previous candlestick um, I'm gonna draw a candlestick right here that means for this candlestick to open there I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna explain right now hold on uh, for that candlestick to open there here for this candlestick to open right here and it means the previous candlestick has to close here so at let's say this is the one hour time frame and this this happened at 5 5 p.m. at 5 p.m. the candlestick that started at 4 closes for the hour and a new candlestick starts so when the, this one closes here the next one has to open here you understand and when the hour ends that candlestick has to close probably here and then another one will open here and create and then um and start another candle for that hour or, or that time frame so the most important part is to understand this this is a uh it's a it, it's it's a, it's called a shadow or a week um it means not a week like isn't a week it's it's a spike it shows where the candlestick has been but did not close above that area or around that area it's been there but you understand this is the close this is the close of the candlestick and this is where it opened if it's bullish and then this week that means that at some point the candlestick was that long and it, it came back and closed right here understand so now explaining dojis make uh, what makes dojis very important with dojis for them to be this important is dojis for me is what I use as entries <coughs> if you are trading um, if you are trading let's say uh, you have a, a wedge pattern or a channel right here and the market was going this way 
then it went down and then it went up and it went down and uh, and so on. these areas here where you enter here oh you understand so these areas that's where you find your entries right so for you to enter you have to have a doji which is a candlestick like this why reason being if the market gets to a trend line i'm gonna make a very simple example if a market gets to a trend line i'm gonna let's exclude these these candlesticks right here forget about these for now focus on this one so if you have the market right now um i'll just do it like this if you have a trend line right now and there's a candlestick against that trend line right now let me do it with a different color let's say the market is this is, this is a candlestick oh, let me use red or green um, and then you have a candlestick rising and this candlestick gets out of the trend line and turns around here and then comes back and closes here after this you will have because the candlestick went all the way up and then came back down you will have this since the candle came all the way up there so you will have this against the trend line this is your sign to sell this is your signal you understand because it means it means the candlestick went all the way up here and then spiked all the way down before that time and then that means it got rejected so it closed below the trend line if it closes below the trend line this means now you have a rejection all these candlesticks that i drew here these type of candlesticks all of them they represent rejection it means if you have a trend line around here like this and all of these candles they represent rejection the market is struggling to go above that area if it's upside down then the ma market is struggling to go below that area you understand therefore you as a trader have to find your entry around this area so now i'm gonna go to the chart um i'm gonna use usd cad um some candlesticks are not exactly like this but you must look at the candlesticks that are around the entries you know um let me do this um from here i'm gonna draw a trend line all the way from here to here people always ask me this question um about how do you know if you should enter or not and i think that's where people struggle the most so now let's look at these areas i'm gonna focus on these areas look at this candlestick right here look at these candlesticks around this area these candlesticks you see all those candlesticks are busy spiking against the trend line and then they fail to break you understand let's look at these candlesticks on the other side like on the on the lower side let's focus oh sorry i drew the trend line wrong so i have to fix it um something like this yes um so now you can see there's a rejection here but let's focus on this one look what happened when the market got here it spiked all the way down it went all the way down and then came back to close above the trend line then it went played around then spiked again and closed above the trend. that's your sign that you should sell let's look at what happened here here was a sign that you should sell it spiked went all the way up and then after it spiked through the trend line it went all the way up and then closed below a couple of times and gave people the sign that you should sell so if you if you're a seller and you place your trade right here and you say sell what does your stop loss go it goes above that shadow like that's your stop loss and where's your take profit 
the other side your profit take profit is all the way down here so now if you trading you'll be risking uh, look at the number in between the, those are the pips um, you will be risking somewhere around uh, you'll be making about 10,000 plus pips or 12,000 and risking these small pips and I also look at the, the right this is the daily time frame so I also look at an entry on the 15 minutes time frame so that my stop loss can be even smaller you know I don't place big stop losses you understand my stop loss would be something like this and then my take profit will be huge so let's look at this let's say right now you're a trader and the market obviously gave you a sign okay this is a rejection and now you should be selling but let's look at this candlestick let's say you're waiting to see what's going to happen and then the market gives you this candlestick this candlestick and it closes here that's a sign that the trend is the the, the cycle is over it's not going to go back and close below the trend line or it's over from now you're looking for a buy so since the market is here right now on <coughs> USD CAD what do you see what I see is this you draw a trend line from here to here and you can see you have um, a rejection here um, you have a rejection which is a second response and then you have another rejection here and then you have you will have another rejection probably somewhere here so now what are you gonna do you're gonna wait for the market to react to that and then <coughs> on the lower side you have this so now you this is also a channel so what's gonna happen now the market is gonna come all the way up here and you're gonna watch if the candle closes if it spikes and then comes back and closes below that's your entry you understand that's your entry and your take profit would be somewhere here you understand and it would be great if 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 you find another entry here another way to find an entry here is if you draw a trend line from here and through here you can see that this 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 is a second response and this would be a third response so meaning this would probably come all the way here and now you'll be trading this because you can see if you put a trend line here you can see that this area is um the structure here i mean there's there's going to be a third response from this you understand and it's also responding to the higher time frame the daily you understand so now what you're going to do as a trader is you would sell this usd cad and um after selling wait for it to come all the way down here and catch this 3100 pips and after that you will buy it again and see what happens you can have your take profit here or wait to see what happens when it gets there if it gets here and it goes above then what's gonna happen if you you wait if it goes up and closes below you close that trade but if it goes above what's gonna happen is this obviously and then now it's gonna come back and find support and bounce and then you can set your take profit higher you understand you can set your take profit higher that's it it's that simple guys like it's that simple you can set your take profit all the way up here <coughs> because of this structure and you can set your take profit all the way up here if you want to you understand depending on what you want but it's gonna take forever to get this so you can set uh, a different take profit so yeah if you have any questions about candlesticks or anything you can feel free to ask me guys i gave you an opportunity to ask as many questions as you could but n not a lot of people asked so i hope you answered